Stanford professor Dr. Gary Nolan is back in the news again. He is denying part of professor of religion Diana Walsh Pasulka's recent story she told on the Joe Rogan experience. Um, I covered that in another video. I'll put a link down in the description. We're going to cover part of it in this video, actually. Um, yeah. So which part of the story did um, Dr. Gary Nolan deny? We're going to get into that. Um, and I've also got another uh, interesting tidbit. Um, Diana always speaks of someone named Tyler D in her book, right? And, and even in the Joe Rogan interview, she wouldn't uh, admit who he is, right? Um, she still uses his uh, pseudonym from the book. Well, Apparently, it's sort of common knowledge as of very recently who he is. A, a few people commented down in the in the comments, and I went and checked it out, and I found out, yeah, we now know who this Tyler D is, and it's quite interesting. So please stick around for as much of the video as you can because I've got a lot of different stuff to show you, and again, just interesting. Um, let's dive in. If you're new to the channel and you like content like this, please hit the subscribe button, y'all. We put out a new video every day, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time, and I think we're about to cross 10,000 subscribers. Thank y'all so much. Uh, I can't tell y'all enough what that means to us here at Vetted, so thank y'all again so much. And of course, hit that like button, y'all, in this video. That really helps out the videos, and y'all do such a wonderful job of that, so thank y'all again. And of course, comment down below of what you think of this revelation, couple revelations, in fact, um, and what does it mean exactly? So let's dive in, vetters. Let's do this. All right. Uh, I got this. Uh, so what we're going to do first is um, take a look at the, the clip, the original clip of Diana Walsh Pasulka talking about this frog skin meta material. All right. Which is something that wasn't in her book. Okay. And this is something she just mentions on the Joe Rogan experience. And again, I covered it. And another video, uh, links down in the description. So let's just um, start here. Okay, so Diana Walsh Pasulka mentions frog skin meta material she found at a UFO crash retrieval site in New Mexico, 2014. All right, let's play the clip here. It's material. And so they're out, kind of like outsourcing. How big were these pieces? So these pieces that I found um, weren't very big. I mean, they were about, one of them was about like this this big, right? Okay, like so the size of a pack of gum? Yeah. And the the actual uh, frog skin type thing was probably about this big. Like a small notebook? And we found a couple of those. Mm -hmm. You found a couple of those just wandering around this area? Well, we weren't wandering. We were actually digging in right. and looking. And, yeah. 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 Uh, wandering is a bad word. That's but okay. <laughs> exploring. <laughs> yeah. Um, this frog skin, what is it? What, what is the, is it? malleable is it yes it's malleable and you could crunch it up and it'll go back to its original form i've heard of that before that was something that they talked about at roswell that there was some bizarre metal that you could crumple up like a piece of paper and it would flatten right back out and that's what you experienced i don't know if it was the same material but yes. similar yeah it was like what that. is what did that feel like when you did that uh, it's hard to explain because you have to understand I'm I was really resistant to to the right. you know 10 years ago think about it this was a time period when we weren't talking about UFOs right it was ridiculous until yeah. 2017 that's to the right. New York Times story that's look at this <laughs> whoa Yeah, I really like that one. So that's kind of giving you an idea of the metal. Now, that's a clip from a, a movie called, I think, Roswell or something like that from the 90s. Um, and kind of giving you an idea of what they're talking about, right? But that didn't look like frog skin when it was out, right? So maybe that's different. But regardless, she says that we found this stuff, right? If you listen to that clip again. Right. Very big. I mean, they were about, one of them was about like this, this big, right? Okay, like so the size of a pack of gum? Yeah. And the, the actual uh, frog skin type thing 
was probably about this big. Like a small notebook? And we found a couple of those. Mm-hmm. You found a couple of those just wandering around this area. Well, we weren't wandering. We were actually digging in right. and looking. And, yeah. 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 Uh, wandering. She says we twice, right? We were wandering around, you know, whatever. We were digging, right? We, we, we. So then it comes out on Twitter that um, they asked Gary Nolan about this. Right, because it, it, they later go on in the in this in that Joe Rogan interview um, that Gary was the one that took all the materials. Right, now I'm going to show you a clip of that here in just a second. Where is it? Okay, right here. All right, so they basically ask uh, UFO Joe Joe Murhia. I think that's how he says his name on UFO Twitter. Again, I'll, uh, links in the description. Um, they he tweeted and asked Nolan, right? Kept the piece that unfolds, right? That frog skin. That's what she was talking. No, he's like no. Pff, pff. <laughs> <laughs> and then another um, Twitter er, um, Twitter guy Xer uh, UAP dog asks Doctor Nolan if I took that metallic piece and crumpled it in my hand, how long would it take to straighten out on its own once my hand was open? Nolan. Forever and never. Sorry to disappoint. But did you see hold a piece with those characteristics? Never. So that's interesting. Why is he denying, or, you know, Gary Nolan, why is he denying Diana's story, essentially, right? That part. Because again, Diana never took any materials. Gary Nolan is the one that took all the materials home, right? And what's also interesting is during the interview, Diana mentions how she called Gary Nolan to verify some of the stuff, like to go over some of the details of the story before she went on Joe Rogan, just to make sure she had everything in line. Um, and I'm like, they wouldn't have discussed that, the frog skin stuff, Right. That sounds interesting. Right? So, and and Diana wouldn't describe, like, what it was like to hold it, right? She just went into, like, well, you have to understand it's 10 years ago. What does that have? That doesn't have anything to do with it. Just tell us what, what it was like in your hands. Right? So, I don't know. Found that odd. But, again, I just don't understand why Gary Nolan would deny this. Why he would deny ever holding... Um, let, let's just look at that tweet. I don't want to make sure I'm getting that right. I mean, he's asking them. Nolan kept the piece that unfolds, specifically stating about the... Um, I looked into the exact tweet that Joe sent out, right? Specifically stating the tweet, fr you know, the piece from the interview. So it's not like Dr. Gary Nolan is, is misconstrued about what piece they're talking about. They're talking about the frog skin material that Diana mentions on the Joe Rogan, and this is his response. No, I didn't keep that piece. And then forever and never, sorry to disappoint. But you did, but did you see hold a piece with those characteristics? Never. Well, well, hang on a second. Now I just caught something. How would Dr. Nolan know forever and never sorry to disappoint but he didn't see or hold a piece of it so how would he even know how to answer this first question here right wouldn't he say i don't know because i never held or saw a piece of it so wow i'm just catching that um wow this just got so interesting uh, I don't know what to make of that, y'all. Am I misunderstanding that, right? Again, let me state that again. How could he answer UAP Doc's question if on Jack Apple's question he says never? He never held or saw a piece of it, so how would he know how to answer this? So maybe he doesn't want to admit that he has it? That is possible, y'all. Right? He just doesn't want to admit that he has it. But Diana's telling the truth. They found this stuff. And that's a likely scenario, y'all. Because I'm not trying to call Diana a liar by no means. And I don't think Gary is either. So, but what's going on? Is it like really Gary has it? 
you know what I mean? I don't know. Can't wait to read the comments on this, what y'all think um, of this. But he, here's here's the clip of Diana, a little Patrick and Patrick again. Uh, this is from the other video I made, the original video, right, of her interview. And again, this is her talking about Dr. Gary Nolan taking all the pieces home that they found and that uh, Diana didn't take any, didn't want any of it, right? And remember, again, of her talking about the frog material and the other materials they found, she's stating, we found it. We found it digging. So she's clearly bringing Dr. Gary Nolan into it. You know, because Tim Taylor, well, I just revealed who Tyler is, but we'll get into that. Uh, that's his real name. Anyway, boom. Um, he wasn't with them, if you remember from that story. Again, I'll put a link in the description if you want to go watch this original video of Diana talking about this visit to the secret UFO crash site, because that might help you understand better what's going on here. Uh, this is sort of a follow-up update to all this. But anyway, right, so, all right, let, look, let's, let me just play this clip so that we can better understand this. Then I was like, I don't want this. I don't want any of this stuff. And they both looked at me and laughed. And so Tyler told us what was going to happen when we went back to the airport. He said, once we get back to the airport, Gary said he's going to take the stuff. Gary's going to get stopped. Oh, Tyler can go through airports, by the way. He doesn't, get, he doesn't have to go through the normal thing that I have to go through, like the TSA and everything. He just goes through. So he went through that through. I had to go through. Gary went through, and he did get stopped. And everything that happened exactly as Tyler said it would. Uh, there was going to, you know, they weren't, they were going to look through everything. They were going to, like, take everything apart. Uh, and then, you know, all that was was a signal to someone in D.C. that somebody had these parts, and this is who. That's mm. what he said. A signal to someone in D.C. that he had these parts, right? So maybe Gary is just trying to like, I don't, hey, man, Diana, why did you say that on, on Joe Rogan? I don't have that stuff. What are you talking about? Right? It's not like it's a court of law that Gary Nolan is denying this stuff in, right? Right. But it just doesn't make sense to answer this UAP dog question if you've never seen or held it, right? And he didn't keep the piece that unfolds. Again, they know specifically. And again, Diana and um, Dr. Gary Nolan were digging alone for those pieces. Okay, Tyler was not there. They were left alone to do this. Right? They were shown around and everything, but then they were left alone to dig. And they would have conversations on their own, Diana and Gary, away from um, Tyler. Again, his name is Tim Taylor. So, you know what? Without further ado, let's just dive into that. Because that's another interesting aspect. Again, Tyler D., right, is the pseudonym for a person named Tim Taylor, right? He works at NASA, Space Force, whatever. We're about to find out a little bit more about him. And he, again, she brings him up so much in this Joe Rogan interview. And he's mentioned in her book, American Cosmic, right, about all of this. And it's, you know, up until a month ago, it was never revealed who this person was. Well, this person, Tyler D., was also in Chris Bledsoe's book. And if you don't know who he is, I'm going to put a link down in the description um, about a video I made of a recent podcast he did, the pod, a clip from a podcast I'm about to show you um, right here. He was on Danny Jones' uh, podcast. And again, put a link down in the description. You can check it out. But he goes on and he just lets it out who Tyler D is because he also uses the same pseudonym in his book. And it's the same person because they got introduced through each other, right? Chris Bledsoe and Diana Pasulka. All right. They got introduced. And again, he just blurts out who Tyler it reveals after all these years, who, who it is. Now, Diana refuses to publicly say that, but she has not denied that this is who it is. Right. But this is what Chris Bledsoe says. Right. And and so I'm going to show you this clip of Chris Bledsoe telling us who Tyler D is. And again, it's named after Tyler Durden from Fight Club. Right. Who is what? The alternate personality of Ed Norton's character. Right. So Tyler D. Right. Made up. But it's a real guy anyway. You know, that's what that was. So anyway, let's watch this clip. And then after this, I've got some clips of other things 
that Tim Taylor, okay, a.k.a. Tyler D., again, Diana's source and Chris Bledsoe's source, again, the person that took Gary Nolan and Diana blindfolded to this secret UFO crash site where this frog skin material was supposedly found, who Gary Nolan is denying, right? The same person. So let's hear the clip of Chris Bledsoe basically outing uh, this Tyler D. person as, again, Tim Taylor. He never did. He's a secretive guy. I mean, he's he's like a ghost, Tim is. That's why Diana wrote his book, wrote her book. She didn't put his name in there. Was, oh, yeah, he was Tyler D. Yeah. in uh, American Cosmic. Yeah. But, you know, that's that was then. Now the subject is, he probably don't like me talking about him, but that's okay. It's part of my life, and I'm sorry. You're a good friend of mine, Tim. He never, so he never clarified anything about like them trying to learn more about it and like them being interested and like why were they interested or why did they make themselves so visible to you and not other people? Yeah, we went over that a lot, you know. And, and so there you go. Now, I've got a couple other clips. Again, I'm going to put links to all of this, y'all. Check it out on your own. This is a clip of Chris Bledsoe talking about Tim Taylor. Um, you know, showing him a video. So let's uh, let's jump into this. And again, this is this is him basically outing this Tim Taylor way before that Danny Jones podcast. But it just nobody, I guess, connected the dots or whatever till just recently. Or maybe they did. I didn't know about it. Anyway, everyone's acting like it just happened. So, but here he is basically saying it. So let's listen to this. Is it true that Tim Taylor showed you a video of a UFO shooting down a nuclear missile test? Yeah, and it wasn't a live nuke. It was a mocked up version. Nobody knew that, but that's what was on board. And I asked him, I said, why did that happen? Did you have a weapon on there? And he said, well, yeah, but it wasn't a live weapon. It was a, just a mock. Well, they didn't like it too well. Where did that happen? Uh, it happened out over California. The Pacific wow. Ocean. Yep. That is crazy. Well, there's a lot of them that's mysteriously exploded. So anyway, there he is again, admitting that Tim Taylor is this Tyler D guy. And again, Tim Taylor is showing him videos of nuclear missiles and UFOs shooting him down you know, uh, UFO shooting down nuclear missiles. Again, this is the same guy who's taking Diane and Gary out to this UFO crash site. It's kind of why I'm showing this, right? Sort of a two, two birds with one stone with this clip. And I got another clip, which I found it interesting. Again, why do government agencies and NASA care about Chris Bledsoe? Mr. Bledsoe talks about the time he was taken to NASA and asked Tim Taylor, a.k.a. Tyler Durden, T Tyler D., what good I am, what good am I to you guys, right? So he wants, he's asking this Tim Taylor guy, right, Tyler D., why, why are you, why me? Because when which they a, come which here. A, which is a reasonable question, by the way. They're not coming to tell me anything. They're coming to study the phenomenon. That's a big difference. They know it's here. They know it's around me. They know I'm connected to it. It's like NASA. It's in the book. Right away when they came to my house, they flew. They, they took me down to the to the most secured facilities on Earth. Machine guns pointing at you as I walked in these doors. Had to have a security clearance to get in there. And um, I asked them. I said, "Why are you worried about me? What what good am I to you guys? You've got the biggest telescopes. You got the best cameras on Earth. You got the, all the money in the world." You got space rockets and space stations. Uh, why do you care about me, some little country guy from North Carolina? And 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 Tim Taylor is who I asked that to. And he looks at me. He said, "Chris, we know it's there. We see it, but it has absolutely nothing to do with us. None. But we know it likes you for some reason." And we'd just like to be a part of that. We'd like to study it. And he told me then, he said, don't ever go to 
any conferences. Uh, not for now. Stay away from others that experience things. Don't listen to it because we'd like your experience to be yours. So when you tend to go to these places, people are left with these uh, what happened to me? And suddenly you beginning to believe what happened to you, them happened to you. And then all of a sudden it's a Pleiadian or a, a Galactic Federation or something that that becomes your story. So I've stayed away from others intentionally for all these years, not going to these things. So my experience is mine. And that's uh, that's where it all started. And it passed around through the agencies and different people from different uh, three letter agencies or four came here and still come here. And they surrounded the wagons around me because they can study it here. That's why. So, again, I find that very interesting that um, I, I've got some more stuff to show you. So um, I just find that very interesting. Right. That Tim Taylor. Again, a.k.a. Tyler D. Um, it's no secret now. Um, who took Diana and Gary Nolan blindfolded to a secret UFO crash site. Right. Among amongst other things in uh, American Cosmic, the book. And again, and if you read Chris Bledsoe's book, right, Tyler D. is in there, too, influencing. And these are the things, according to Chris Bledsoe, that t that Tim Taylor has told him. Right. And I just find this fascinating because when we find out who this guy is, it's like, wow. Right. He's never done an interview like it's hard to find some information on this guy, to be honest with you. But I did find some. So let's take a look. Um, at. Timothy E. Taylor. OK, now. Diana talks about going to the Vatican with Tim, right? Well, here's a picture to prove it. And that this is Tyler, because in the book, it's she went with Tyler, right? So here's Diana Pasulka, professor of philosophy and religion. She's right here. At UNC, BR Guy J. Consolomagno, physicist, director of the Vatican Observatory, right here. And Timothy E. Taylor, Ph.D., NASA researching at the Vatican. Right there. That's Timothy Taylor. There's a better picture. Here he is right by the shuttles. He's got his uniform on. And this picture comes from his bio because right now he works for a company, Vivex Biologics. And if you remember in the interview, Diana, uh, with Joe Rogan, she mentioned about Tim going up in space shuttles and doing experiments with biologics and how we were confused if that's the same biologics that David Grush was talking about, because it was like metals and stuff, not, you know, bodies, right? Alien bodies, which is what we thought. But again, I'm going to put a link to the other video I made where I talk more about that. OK, so. Check that out. I'm not really going to get into that in this, but it is interesting that he works at a biologics place, right? So it checks out what Diana is saying about his history, right, of who he is um, and says right here. Again, I'll put links to all of this. Tim Taylor has had a dual career in space and medicine for over 40 years. He worked on the space shuttle program in Cape Canaveral and continues to serve the Atlas, Delta and SpaceX programs and launch operations. Now, SpaceX Remember that, pin that, because I'm going to end this video on something very interesting that's going to hit the rumor mills. Uh, SpaceX program and launch operations. Mr. Taylor has supported over 40 space shuttle missions and 80 Department of Defense missions as a controller, systems engineer, and field test engineer. Again, this is the same guy that took Diana and Gary Nolan out to a secret UFO crash site in New Mexico and is telling Chris Bledsoe allegedly right is telling Chris Bledsoe all these different things showing him uh you know UFO videos classified stuff I would imagine um telling him hey we know about the phenomena you know whatever we want to study you with the phenomena you know this sort of thing like where, where when is this happening 
Uh, he's taking Chris into like secret places, right? Like, again, same guy. As a principal investigator, Mr. Taylor flew a biomedical experiment on Space Shuttle Columbia in 1991. Now, these are the experiments Diana was talking about in the Joe Rogan Experience interview, right? Again, that we covered in another video. And because of the experiment and the resulting recognition, he went on to become the co-founder, vice president of engineering at Indias Inc., a Boston-based surgical device company. Indias, originally known as Austin Taylor Medical Inc., became an early entrant of end endoscopic slash minimally invasive spine surgery and has become known as the pioneering company in endoscopic spine surgery. Okay. In March 2007, the world's largest orthopedic company, Zimmer, acquired Endius in a private transaction. Before being acquired, Endius was one of the fastest growing spinal device and implant companies in the U.S. After hiring a seasoned CEO, Tim resigned from Endius in 2000 and joined Amendia slash Spinal Elements as chairman of the board. He then became chairman of the board of Vivex Biologics. Okay, and that's where he currently is. Mr. Taylor continues to support Department of Dep Defense launches from Cape Canaveral, as well as advanced biomedical ventures, bridging the gap of aerospace and biomedical technologies. He holds over 40 patents, serves on medical and nonprofit boards, and pushed, published the book Launch Fever. You can find that on Amazon. It's, it's interesting. Um, so he continues to work with the Department of Defense. Again, this is a guy that's taking people out to secret UFO crash sites and telling Chris Bledsoe all kinds of interesting stuff, right? It, you know, this is interesting, man. You know, Tim Taylor, that's a name to remember moving forward, okay? That's a new, that's a name to remember. Now, SpaceX, right? I mentioned that. Who owns SpaceX, y'all? That's right. Same guy that owns Twitter. X. Uh, check out this tweet from Diana Pasulka, dated January 4th, 2023. So a little over a year ago. Tyler, Tim Taylor, was and may still be Elon's U.S. Space Force handler. Why is that interesting? One, who we've just revealed who Tyler is. He's Tim Taylor, right? And we've revealed a lot of information about him. Well, Elon has famously always said, if anyone was going to know about aliens, it would be me. And he's always said he doesn't. He hasn't seen any evidence. Meanwhile, the Space Force handler he has, because he says he was. Diana's saying he was, and he may still be. So at one point, he definitely was as confirmed. Is he still? We don't know. But at one point, this guy who's taking people to secret UFO crash sites is hanging out with Elon Musk, right, as his handler. Why wouldn't he tell Elon about this? Or has he taken Elon? I don't know, man. That's interesting. This tweet is interesting. What is going to hit? We we need to get Elon's response to this. And, and as well, Diana... I should have said this earlier in the video. I hope you watched this far. Um, she has not responded to the Gary Nolan, right? Like, uh, she has not responded to that. So she's just been crickets on all this. Um, she's been crickets on all this, y'all. So, but this is interesting. Tyler, Tim Taylor, right? Hmm. Same guy is Elon Musk, Space Force handler. You can't make this up, y'all. So I don't know what to think about this. There's just a, a web, a web. Very interesting. Um, again, it is very possible that Gary Nolan wants to protect himself and just doesn't want to reveal that he has that frog skin material, right? Because he took the other materials and he has studied them. And maybe this material is just like, it's just too much, right? Like can't don't want to admit that again because that was not in the book so that is possible i don't know or not it didn't happen diana's confused 
I don't know, right? Does it even matter, any of this? I guess that's up to you to decide for sure. Um, I find it interesting, odd, but uh, I don't know. Again, can't wait to read the comments on this, y'all. So, very curious um, what y'all are going to say about this. Uh, and again, yeah. Anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. And thank you to all the new subscribers who are joining us, vetters. That's what we call our subscribers here, vetters. So, welcome to the team. Thank y'all again for all the support. Um, not going to slow down now. If anything, I'm, I'm just getting started, y'all. So, thank y'all again for tuning in every day. And of course, if you've watched this far and you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, y'all. We put out, again, a new video every day, 12 p.m. Central Standard Time. I do not miss a day. Um, and look, I want to give a special shout out to a young fan of ours. Uh, got a, a nice message on Reddit from someone who watches the show. And they left a really, really genuinely nice mes message that they kind of touched my heart, to be honest with you. And they talked about their son uh, watching the show. So I want to give a special shout out to him. His name is Miles. So Miles, what's up, buddy? Uh, I know you're playing with your blocks. Remember, listen to your mom and dad. Uh, they know it's best for you. So thank you for watching and supporting the channel, guys. Um, all right, Miles, probably time to get to bed. Get ready for bed. Um, all right, y'all. So we'll see you guys on tomorrow's video. Remember, every day's a gift. Peace.